Hello and welcome to the video on calendars. Hi, my Twitter handle is Ravi Handa and you can use that to provide feedback. In this particular video, we'll talk about some of the basic terms which are associated with calendar questions. And by the end of the video, you should be able to do the following. Find out the day when another day or date is given. See, you get questions like 3rd of March was a Wednesday. Find out what will be 15th of March and stuff like that. You'll also be able to do stuff like what day of the week was 9 September 2001. Stuff like that. So, let us look at these. First of all, the very basic terms which come in handy. What is an ordinary year? An ordinary year is your normal year which has 365 days. 365 days essentially means 52 weeks and one more day because 52 weeks will be 364 days. So there is one extra day. A leap year is when you have the 29th of February. That means an extra day is there or essentially 366 days are there. So this comprises of 52 weeks and two days. It is also important to identify which one is a leap year and which one is not. Any year where it is divisible by 4 is a leap year. Say for example 1982. To find out the divisibility by 4, you just need to look at the last two digits of the number. The last two digits are 82. Since 82 is not divisible by 4, 1982 will not be a leap year. How about 2012? Well, 12 is divisible by 4. That means 2012 is divisible by 4. That means 2012 is a leap year. As you might have noticed, 2012 did have a 29th of February. 2010, well, it will not be a leap year because it is not divisible by 4 as the last two digits, 10, are not divisible by 4. So this check for a leap year that you just check the last two digits works in most cases except for perfect 00, zero that is 1600, 1700 and so on which are the turn of the century or the end of the century or the beginning of the century whichever way you want to look at it. In those cases only perfect multiples of 400s are leap years. That is 1600 is a leap year. It's a multiple of not only 4 but of 400. 1700 is not, 1800 is not, 1900 is not. Then 2000 is a leap year but once again 2100 is not. That is the way you can identify which one is a leap year or not. First, check whether it is divisible by 4 or not. That works in most cases. For perfect centuries, it should be divisible by 400. The concept of odd days essentially represents the extra days which are there. Say in a leap year, two days are extra, so it has two odd days. An ordinary year has one day extra, so it has one odd day. A century which will comprise of 100 years will always have 76 ordinary years and 24 leap years. So how many odd days will it have? Well, 76 for the 76 ordinary years and 48 which is 24 into 2 for the 24 leap years. That means it will have a total of 124 odd days. Well, 124 odd days is a little too much over a week. So I again divide it by 7. Once I divide it by 7, I figure out that it has 17 weeks and 5 more odd days. Which essentially implies that a century will have 5 odd days. Another very important point to note, 400 years in a cycle in a leap have 0 odd days. Now, another idea or funda so to say which you can derive from it is, what will be the last day of a century? Well, for the first century, it will have 5 odd days or 5 extra days, so it will be Friday. How about the end of the second century? See, this one had 5. Second century will have 10 odd days, 5 into 2, 1 for each century. 10 odd days is the same as 3 odd days, which makes it a Wednesday. 
third and end of third century will have 15 odd days 15 is equal to two weeks and one odd day so it has one extra day which makes it a monday at the end of four centuries or 400 years we will have zero odd days well why does it happen that way zero odd days because four into five because five odd days per century four centuries that gives me 20 plus the one extra which comes from the leap year so the one extra which comes from the leap year for the fourth century will make it 21 odd days which is equal to zero odd days and that makes the last day of the 400th or the fourth century as a sunday and then the cycle will keep on repeating itself now using these concepts let us look at a few questions first one would be finding the day when another day or the date is given how can we do that let's say if today is a monday what will be the day 61 days later that is monday plus 61 how many odd days are there in 61 you divide 61 by 7 61 by 7 till 56 is divisible you are left with 5 odd days and monday plus 5 odd days gives me saturday which is my answer another question of this type could be if 17th of march 2008 was a monday what day was 1st april 2012 well first we need to calculate 17th march 2012 Initially, 2008 was a Monday. In 2009, what would have happened? One extra day would have been added up because of 2008. In 2010, 17 March 2010 will be two days ahead. 17th March 2011 will be another day or a total of three days ahead. But 17 March 2012 will be a total of five days ahead. Why are, why are we taking 2 here? Because 17 March is in 2012 and 2012 is a leap year which makes Monday plus 5 or Saturday. Now, from 17th of March to 1st of April, how many days are there? Well, 14 days in March, 1 in April. So, Saturday plus 15, that is Saturday plus 1 or you get a Sunday here. Let's look at the last one, which says, which year will have the exact same calendar as 2009? In 2009, you will add one odd day. In 2010, you will add one odd day. In 2011, you will add another odd day. 2012, being a leap year, you will add two odd days. 2013, you will add one odd day. 2014, you will add another odd day. Just see how many you have completed. 1 plus 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3 plus 2 is 5 plus 1 is 6 plus 1 is 7. So when you add 7 odd days, essentially you have added one full week. And that would mean that year 2015 will have the same calendar as the year 2009. Because once you have added the extra day or added the odd day for 2014, you have now landed up in the year 2015. Now, let us look at something which is a little more interesting, which is the doomsday algorithm. What it says is that you can find out the day of any, any particular day, 17th March 1924 or anything like that, if you can remember a very simple algorithm. But before you get to that algorithm, what you need to know is that the last day of February 4th of April, 6th of July, 8th of August, 10th of October and 12th of December. They all occur on the same day of the week. And how can you remember it? Well, 4, 4, 6, 6, 8, 8, 10, 10 and 12, 12. They all occur on the same day. And that particular day is sometimes referred to as the doomsday. How do you calculate the doomsday for that for any particular year? For that you need the anchor. The anchor for the previous century, that is 1900 to 1999, was Wednesday. For the current century, it is Tuesday. And I think this, these two centuries are going to be more than enough for you. So once again, doomsday for a year will be the anchor plus 
Y. Y is the last two digits of the year divided by 12. The remainder of the same. And then you divide the remainder by 4. This essentially will give you the doomsday for any particular year. We'll see its application very soon. Let's have a look at it. What day of the week was 17th August 1983, which also happens to be my birthday. If you go by normal method, this is what you will need to do. In 1600 years, there will be zero odd days. Well, every 400 years is zero odd days. So in 1600 years, there are zero odd days. Another 300 years is three into five. Because for every century, you have 5 odd days, which gives me 15 odd days or it gives me 1 odd day. 82 years, I am completing till 1982. 82 years will have 20 leap years and 62 ordinary years. 20 leap years will give me 40 odd days. 62 ordinary years will give me 62 odd days. That gives me 102 odd days in total, which... When I divide by 7, I know 98 is divisible and I am left with 4 odd days. And then what happens till 17th of August? Well, 31 days in January, 28 days in February, 31 days in March, 30 days in April, 31 days in May, 30 days in June, 31 days in July and 17 days in August. As you can see, this is a very tedious calculation. It might look simple. But once you add all of it up, you get 229 odd days, which is effectively 5 odd days because 224 comes out to be divisible by 7. Uh, 21, 210 and then 14. Total odd days, 0 from here, plus 1 is 1, plus 4 makes it 5 and 5 makes it 10. So 10 odd days in total, which makes it 3 odd days. And what is three odd days analogous to? It is analogous to a Wednesday, which is correct. I was born on a Wednesday. Now let's see, would the question become simpler if we had used the doomsday algorithm? Let's see how simple it becomes. First of all, what do we need to do? We need to calculate doomsday for the year. That is 1983. Anchor, we'll have to use Wednesday as the anchor because it was in the previous century. Let's see how. So doomsday for 1983 will be Wednesday, the anchor, plus last two digits, 83 by 12, its remainder, and whatever is the remainder, that divided by 4. So how much is that? 83 by 12, it is divisible 6 times. So I just write that. 72 is divisible essentially. Then I get 11 as the remainder. 11 by 4, I get it as 2. So I get Wednesday plus 6 plus 11 plus 2, I get Wednesday plus 19. Wednesday plus 19 is the same as Wednesday plus 5. Or I get it as a Monday. Now that I have figured out the doomsday for 1983 was a Monday, I need to look at a date which is very close to 17th August. So if you remember, we had 446688, which means 8th of August will be the doomsday. 8th of August will occur on a Monday. How many more days till 17th August? 9 more days and Monday plus 9 is the same as Monday plus 2 which is Wednesday. So as you can see we have got the same answer here and I hope you agree with me when I say that the doomsday method once you figure it out is much simpler than a whole lot of calculation. The only difficulty or the only difficult part in this is remembering two things. One, the formula for doomsday for a particular year, that is anchor plus y by 12 plus the remainder plus the remainder divided by 4. And the anchor years for the previous century, Wednesday, for the current century, Tuesday. That's it. The other part, I think 446688, you can remember on your own. And with this, I'd like to wrap up this session. Hope you found this useful. And you will be able to calculate days of your birthdays and other stuff. And with this, uh, I'd like to wrap it up. Please provide feedback at Twitter at my Twitter handle. Or you can also email me on my mail ID, which is ravihanda at gmail.com. Thank you.